What's quack a guys? I'm the Dark Quack Cat, and welcome back to another episode on our Mission Manchester, Making Manchester, whatever we've called it, I can't even remember right now, series. So if you remember, in the last episode, we picked up a ton of these guys that we'd listed, and we made an absolute killing on. And there were two big guys. There was this guy that we sold for 3,900, and I think there was a guy that we sold for 5k. Yes, there was. We've still got three guys selling. We have listed our Rondons for 15. I don't expect them to sell, but we're kind of hoping to get hit up with some lazy buyers on those things. And the other thing is that we've got some players here. So we've got six players here that I will explain about later. I was planning on sniping a bunch more Serie A players, but we can't keep doing the same thing over and over again or this series gets incredibly dull and you guys just don't want to watch it. So, what we have completed, and why our coins are so low, is we have completed yet another one of these advanced SBCs. And as you can see, we only paid 750 on one guy, and then everything else there was below 700 coins. I say that, we did have to pick up two position changes. So we picked up a right wing to right mid, and a left wing to left mid at 200 coins each. So it was overall very, very, very cheap for us to do. Now, we're just quickly jumping onto the market here, because we do need to pick up another copy of Gomez. Because our last two challenges, I think, they both use this guy. So we needed one for the final one and one for the third one, if you like. So we're going to go throw him in, complete the other three challenges. I did consider actually completing the other packs that are out. So there is a 50k pack for Fancy... No. Fancy Football is a free UCL pack for about 10k, which we might do. But the problem with it is you actually do need a bit of pack luck to actually get your money back. And I don't like running risks on this account right now. I feel like we just want to play it safe, right? We just want to get as much as we can as quickly as we can. So just to quickly show you the prices here again, guys. We paid 1101 wasn't it? Where was he? Yeah, for Valbuena. And that actually was a fairly cheap deal on Valbuena. I think it's about 1300 normally or around that kind of price. The Seven Suspects one, again, very simple. Full Mexican team. We paid about 500 coins at most a card. One was 550 but most were like 450 400 on that one. And then the final one was called Rare Fives, which was, again, it's a stupidly simple one. We just used a lot of the second division leagues, about 300 coins the most we spent, and then an untradeable guy we got from our starting pack to go straight in the middle, pump the rating, and it's just not from a great league for us. So that completes those SBCs. We've got five packs to go. We are going to pump through those packs straight away here. We're not going to mess around. And then I'm going to move on and explain what the next part of what we're doing on this account is. It wasn't something that I planned for. It wasn't something that I'd actually thought about. It was something that when I was checking stuff out quite recently, I was like, how have we not already started on this? This has to be the next step. And it is the next step now. Uh, like I mentioned before, guys, I'm not going to bother listing stuff quite yet. <laughs> Except for the hunter cards. <laughs> Jesus, two hunter cards in one day. That's just stupid luck. Uh, I don't think we need the manager kit. We definitely don't need any of those kits. That is for sure. That, that Hunter card alone, though, 5k. For, like, a 15k pack, you really can't ask for much better pack luck than a 5k card. I mean, like, a 5k card does the trick each and every time. The second, I think there was two 15k packs. Or one was, like, a premium 7.5k pack. I actually think that Lala might sell for a little bit, and Moutinho might actually sell for a little bit as well. But either way, these contracts will eventually sell. So that's a ton of coins. It's squad fitness is pretty nice. Um, the position changes as well will probably sell. We'll keep all of that. Uh, next pack, though. Let's get the Mega Pack done. I'm not a huge fan of Mega Packs normally. I don't expect to get a second walkout. I mean, we already had a walkout once on this account. So I feel like our pack luck is pretty damn good as it is. Brazilian centre-back David Luiz isn't a bad pull. Because of the Alonso SPC, maybe this guy's actually worth like 4k. Oh, and Bailly? Damn. Oh, not so much down. I was about to say <laughs> that guy's worth a little bit. Uh, David Luiz, like 4k. Subasic, Bernadeschi. I can't complain with that pack at all. Was that Mourinho? Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> My mind's playing tricks on me. I thought we hit Mourinho, which would have been amazing. Because that's actually probably what we're going to grab in this episode. So, like, packing him would save us quite a bit of money. It would mean we wouldn't have to buy someone. Uh, next up, let's go Prime Gold Players back. Let's just go straight in for the second biggest pack here. Not a walkout. Not a problem. Boards will do for me. No boards will also do for me. Cam, Brazilian. Rafina's not bad, you know. I 
think, is it Barcelona that's needed in the challenge at the moment, or is it Real Madrid? It's one of the two. Um, oh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad as far as a prime gold players pack goes. And that guy isn't worth anything. So it just comes down to this. Can we hit a big player in this pack? It's not a walkout. Okay, so these packs didn't give us the stupidly big boost that we wanted. An 85 would be great. Carver Hell? You know what? Carver Hell isn't bad. I mean, it's not a huge player, but not getting a huge player isn't an issue on this account. It's all about the grind and everything here. So just getting a... Uh, down to really is our second best player is pretty poor though. But Carver Hell's nice. Carver Hell's pretty nice. And I mean, that's a lot of squad fitness cards. We've got some healing cards. Um, some decent-ish position changes. We hit Old Trafford. Already got Old Trafford. Damn it, why did we do it that way around? Uh, all in all, those packs were pretty trash. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, they weren't great. The first pack was probably our best pack. The one that gave us the Hunter card. But it doesn't matter. What we are jumping into now is something a little bit different. The MLS SBC. It gives an SBC Rooney. And I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. But I was playing around looking at how we could do this. And how we could quickly get players. And then I realised that if you just set it to like a max 300 buy it now price. You can pick up silvers fairly easily. You can hit compare price. And then when you pop back a lot of the time another one is available to buy. Now I was doing this for a while. That's how I got like the six odd players that you saw before. And on some of these, I'm not saving a fortune. There's not a lot of coins in it with some of these guys. But I feel like this is the easiest way just to stock up our club with silvers to start with. Pick up as many as we can just doing it this way. And if you have a look here, this guy, he goes for about five, 600. So even if worst case came to it, we'd still be making a profit on selling that guy. If we did pick up duplicates and everything like that, we have covered ourselves and we can just sell them off. Oh, that would be nice. Is this guy quite rare? No, see, he's not even worth that much, that guy, but we still picked up this guy for 300 coins. And as you can see, his cheapest is about seven, 800 coins. I'm absolutely fine taking that gamble, rolling those dice, and then any duplicates we do end up picking up, just listing for the couple of hundred coins profit that we can get from them. Doing this for probably about 10, 20 minutes should put us at a position where we're going to be very, very good to complete a large portion of this MLS challenge. And if we're lucky, it might also give us a few of the rarer cards. Like this guy sells for about seven, eight hundred coins. This um, guy right here sells for like, oh, I was going to say 3k. He's about 800 coins as well. So we're flying with it. I'm going to carry on with this for a little bit longer, guys. And then I think at the end of this video, we'll have a look at just how many MLS players we have managed to pick up. And then kind of just see if we're close to completing any challenges before the next episode. I feel like the next episode is when we maybe will make a proper dent into this MLS SBC. You know what, guys? That actually went extremely well. So I haven't done it for too long, obviously, because I want to spread this out across several episodes and I want to make it enjoyable for me and enjoyable for you to see how we're doing things. But if you have a look here, all of these guys we picked up for 300 coins or less. So saying that there's 10 players a page, there's three on the first page, that's 13, 23, 33, 43 players that we've picked up for 300 or less, which is 12,900 coins at the very most, more likely closer to, I'd say about 11,000 coins that we spent on all of those players, which is huge. That's a great start. These are the duplicates we started picking up, as you can see, we're making a profit on. Uh, we've still got two guys listed here, and we've still got these two um, Serie A guys here as well, which we will just drop a little bit in price. We just do want to sell them. We want to clear them off our transfer list. We won't drop them too much. Still got the Rondon selling as well, so that is another about 45k. We're on 22k in the club, as you guys can see. And then on top of that, we've still got all of these guys that I haven't even got around to selling yet. You know what? I might have a look and start shifting some of these pretty soon. But I mean, for now, we're absolutely flying on this. So as always, guys, we have to end the episode with a pickup of some kind. And I feel like I'm absolutely fine with... Mm, where are the manager cards? Club items, aren't they? Uh, we're picking something up. So we're going to go for Jose Mourinho here. Is he under staff? Of course he's under staff. I'm just being an absolute idiot here. So we're going to go for... Uh, league, Premier League. Um, I think it's probably best that we actually throw the nationality in and stick it to gold because then we should be able to find him fairly easily, I think. I'm saying that. We may not be able to find him for like 350 coins. We may be stretching a little bit there. Seeing as he is a bit more of a premium manager, if you like, 
He's a bigger known name. A lot of people probably want to use him in their clubs. We're probably going to be ended up spending nearer to six, seven hundred, I guess. Maybe more at this rate. I mean, there's another Portuguese manager from the Premier League that people could use. So I'm not sure why um, Mourinho is going for so much. But <laughs> we do need him. We really do need him. Uh, we've got to stick that on gold. We'll go up to like 700. And put that one at 500. I'm hoping we don't have to spend more than 1,000 coins on this guy. Just for a manager card. Especially because we're not playing games. Good. Good. You know what? We'll spend 700 on him. We'll spend 700 on him just because we do need him. Um, we can't actually activate him, but he is in the club. So what we're going to quickly do is jump into our club here, into our squads. And we are going to have to quickly add manager, change manager. Whoops. How do we change him? Swap manager. Jose Mourinho. There we go, guys. We are actually making a start at our United team now. Finally, we've got the manager in place. We've got the kits. We've got the stadium. We have also got the badge. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you hit the like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new. I'll leave links to my Twitter and our Discord, which is one of the biggest trading discords in FIFA, in the comment section below. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.